There's a lot of bombs down there, though. Oh, no! What do I do? I can't do it anymore. I can't. It, the run is over. It has ended. Get out of my life. Jeez. <sighs> right. Well, I guess that put a stop to our ice capades. I'm so annoyed with that. We were doing so well. Did you see how much money I had? That's ridiculous. And some pretty good items and a lot of bombs as well, to be honest. Uh, uh, ah! Right, so I'm cutting all that out, aren't I, apart from the end? Which means this is the beginning, so I should say hello and welcome back to Spelunky. It is a glorious morning. It is sunny, the sun is shining, and it is beautiful weather. It is Tuesday, the 11th of March, and when we last left off, we made it to the mines and died, and then made it to the jungle and died. It was not a very productive run. Then again, it, son of a, then again, it was Monday. And that is enough of an excuse in and of itself. Should I want to go up there? I can climb up, so I might as well. But also, you'll recall that I said I was going to be late. I had a busy day. But, ah, oh, 10, 10,100 short of cash. Brain just not functioning at all. Yeah, so I think the pressure from being busy yesterday affected me. Either that or I suck at the game, but that surely cannot be it. Surely. Anybody? Tell that. Boom! Right, one of the most... Oh, there's a couple of crates up there. And luckily I turned back, otherwise I would have been attacked by that spider that I did not see at all. Right, let's approach this from the top down. For no apparent reason. What do we have in here? Yeah, ropes. I'll take ropes. We are... I could always do with ropes. And if this is bombs, I'll be pleased. Oh, that is good, that is good. Six and seven. Health is at four, which is a little sad, but you know, can't have everything. Shop below, more cash in there. I'm not gonna rob this place. I am gonna go this way. This will eke out a little bit more money from the bricks, but allow me to get in here with more money, more money in jewels, and more money down here. And a sacrificial altar. Where is that dog hiding? Right there. So I guess the best thing to do is put the bomb here. Open up both ways and get me away from that shop so I don't blow that up accidentally. You know, we could always sacrifice the shopkeeper, but it would be very difficult to get him there alive. So we'll probably have to do it with a dead guy, and he, I think as a dead guy, he doesn't really count for much. I also want to get in there. Put a bomb here. That'll probably let me in without destroying the. Sh I just don't want to upset the shopkeeper, is all. Alright, we get for this a compass. Fantastic, I'll take that. I love a good compass, especially good on the ice levels. Oh, and dark levels too, I guess. And in here we have more bombs. And another crate here. This is crate level. So many bombs. I'm happy with that. We can leave now. I'm very happy. 31,800, lots of bombs, fair few ropes, moving on through. Health, not the greatest, but one more sacrificial sacrifice. Of sacrificialness will get us the Kapala, which is worth lots of money. That was very risky what I just did, but I pulled it off because I'm the best. Now, one of the annoying things about restarting an episode like this is that I have to woo re. Can I get him to shoot that? Probably. Nope. Nope. Luckily, the dog got shot and not myself. Oh, mm. oh, I've just killed the dog. That is, I mean, fantastic. Not what I wanted. Right, let's 
let's get that to fire. No, it's already done it. Okay. And my health is very low. We have to key stuff on here. Yeah, so one of the most annoying things uh, about restarting, like I said, is that I will have talked about stuff and I can't remember what I've talked about. So it's probably going to get repeated. But then I will forget that I've repeated it and repeat it yet again. <laughs> Do not like scorpions. So, yes, first things that I want to say, which may get repeated, is... See, I'm repeating the word repeated a lot. That could get annoying. Uh, yeah, the first thing I want to say is... Going through. My YouTube banner is practically done. I need to do one more thing. And... It's... I guess it's simple, but it's probably not going to be. It's probably going to be a pain in the butt. And I was going to do it today, but I think it's a bit too late in the day now, to be honest. Right, can I do this without killing myself? Oh, yeah, I can. Forgot I had sticky goo. And ropes. This is going fantastically well. Uh, yeah, so just one little minor thing to be done. Sacrificial altar. And then I'll be happy and dandy and everything will be good. And then it will go up on Monday. Because any changes I make to my channel, whether it's graphically or new video playlists and stuff like that, new series, is, it will always be a Monday deal. Right, let's kill this guy. Try and get some blood out of that. Now, we're only on two health, which kind of sucks, but it should start rocketing up now. Right, in fact, it's probably best if all the stuff that I was going to say, I just get it out of the way with now. Then I don't have to worry about trying to fit it in to the conversation and repeating and doing stuff and ah oh one more kill I think will get us a nice chunk of health oh but there's nothing here okay moving through with 60,000 that's really good actually hey the other thing I was going to say is yesterday or last night should I say I was up on Kickstarter again it's not often I use it because well, I could very easily waste all my money. I mean, it wouldn't be a waste, I guess, but... Ah, you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, I was on it for a specific reason. I was watching YouTube and noticed a very talented artist. And I decided, you know what? This artist has a Kickstarter. I shall go and donate. This fish is going to kill me. Ooh. And I tracked down and I donated. Oh! And mm -hmm, bomb down before I kill myself. Uh, donating is a very simple act. I wouldn't call it altruism in the truest sense because more often than not, you get a little reward out of it, don't you? They offer you incentives and such. But I did donate, it, and I was more than happy to. And the person I donated to... Sorry if I'm slowing down, I'm assessing the situation. And the person I donated to is... And I apologise, because I will butcher this name. Because uh, I think it's Hawaiian. She was called... Kawehi. Kawehi. Kawehi? I'll, I'm not going to repeat it anymore. I'm, I'm just going to assume that one of those very bad pronunciations was correct. Ah! And... I will throw up a link to her YouTube channel right now because if I don't then I'll forget although I probably will forget to do this in editing so yeah just try clicking the screen and see what happens you never know you might go to her channel you might not all right let's climb up and over this no point messing around here 10 bombs is pretty low uh, anyway yes I donated and I was very pleasantly surprised. Ooh. Take that, scumbags. Very pleasantly surprised when uh, I got a message back almost straight away. Figured, you know what, it's probably just one of those instant, automatically generated things. But no, it was actually a personalised message. Crap, I did not want to take that. No! Trust me to pick up the guy instead of boomerang. Uh, this way, this way, this way. It's in here, isn't it? 
Uh, yeah, I was very surprised when I got a personalised message back. I was not expecting that. But you know, it's one of those simple things that actually makes a fair bit of dis uh, difference, isn't it? You wouldn't expect... Just like a... You'd expect a non-standard uh, greeting, but when you get a non-standard one, a customised, personalised one, it makes you think, you know, this person has taken the time to contact their fans, and it's always going to be appreciated. Take that. Alright, time to leave. Anyway, yeah, so the personalised message was... Uh, amusing. Because uh, it was mainly just a comment on my name, which I wouldn't bother saying out loud because, uh, well, you either know it or you don't, and if you don't, then sucks for you. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, take this, and this, and that guy's going to throw a boomerang at the shopkeepers, so, nope. You can go in there and go and eat a shopkeeper as far as I'm concerned. I'll take that. You get out of it. Holy moly! You're getting numbed. Oh. Oh, no! Ah! No! I threw a frog at it! Right, we haven't robbed the black market because there's really not that much here that we want. Could take a bunch of bombs, play a spin on that, but. I think this is the first time we're going to leave the black market having not robbed it, and having spare change. This black market sucks. Uh. Yeah, anyway, so, what was I saying? Something about Kawehi. Uh, if you want to... Oh, there's a jetpack down there! That is amazing! Oh crap, I'm going to kill myself. What are the odds of finding a jetpack just sitting in the ground. Woohoo! That was very good, I'm happy with that. Yes, so, anyway, Kawehi's album or EP, I think it's an EP, is called Robot Hats. They are in it. And I suggest when it is available to purchase, you should buy it because it is fantastic. Or at least what I've heard of it, anyway. Right, let's go across. Right, that's enough trying to convince you to listen to music that you will either like or you will not. Everyone has their own tastes. If you like it, I definitely suggest supporting the artist. In fact, I would link to the Kickstarter ah, itself, but it finished. Uh, I only discovered it last night. It had six hours left on it when I discovered it, so that left me scrambling for the credit card. It's a pain in the butt, because uh, I can pay, with, pay for most stuff with... Is this a good time to rob him? Nah, we'll hold off on robbing him now. Uh, yeah, I pay for most stuff on my debit card. And... Unfortunately... Yeah, because you pay for Kickstarter through Amazon Payments. Which... And Amazon accepts my debit card, but doesn't accept it for Kickstarter. Which is most bizarre and annoying. Uh, but now I'm just sort of ranting about nonsense. Get out of it. I want a boomerang. Try not to die. And fruit. Good. Uh, next one is ice, is it? Nice. Jetpack really in handy here. Hopefully we can find a shop and get ourselves uh, an angry shopkeep. suppose we could rob that guy. Get away, get away! What the hell is this? Plasma cannon. The height of alien weapon design. This thing packs a punch. Why have I never had this before? Come back here. No, dog. He's gone to a better place. Should we test this out? Whoa, 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 ice, ice, ice. And... Pow! Holy! I, I think he's dead. I'm gonna kill myself with this. 
Actually, this is very annoying because I can't take it through with me, can I? After I've sacrificed my life. Oh, no. That is awesome to find this in a... Oh, the dog did survive. To find this just in a random crate box thing. It's fantastic. All right, the shopkeeper up there. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to free him from his prison. Jeez. Like this! I'll take his cash as well. Just going to assume that he's dead and leave. Alright, the reason... Jeez. The knockback on this is crazy. The reason I've angered him is because when I sacrifice myself, I won't have a weapon. Because I can't take it with me. So if I have an angry shopkeeper, I can always get an extra gun from that way. Pow! <laughs> this is so fun. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna destroy myself. How have I gotten this far into the game and never discovered this weapon? It must be like super rare. Unless I've done something secret to activate its drop. Don't know what that would be there. You got! Oh crap! You're getting one right in the back of the head. Turn around, to right. An ice gun flew out of him. There's an angry shopkeeper. He's gone and uh, wasted his life. I do not see a Maui head anywhere, so... Looks like I'm not going to be sacrificing my life. I have eight health. I'm sorry, Mr. Dog, but... The dog actually survived that. That is... Crazy. It's a lot tougher than I expected. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, 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 <laughs> And moving on through again. That's crazy, this alien weapon is fantastic. Ah, <sighs> nervous now. Just firing this ahead of where I'm gonna go because it will. There's the Maui head, so this level I'm losing this weapon. Somehow I am going to... Oh come on, we can do it! Holy hell's bells! And it doesn't matter if we die because obviously we need to die but I would like at least to explore somewhat. <laughs> Shopkeeper having a, having a blast down there. Like this! Where's he gone? Oh! Bit slow on the old uh, recharge, but... And the, no, the splashback... Splash damage is not all that great as I expected it would be. Where is the dog? All I do is... Parachute. All I want to do is sacrifice the dog. Have I blown? I bet I've blown him up, haven't I? Right, come on, shoot the head. Well, we can. It doesn't really do much, but destroy everything. Oh, see the shield that comes off it. Wow, he's took a bit of bit of damage. You can see he's got a few marks on him. Oh, it's so sad. In fact, I don't even want to throw it down the pit. I'm just going to leave it up here. Right, me and my nine life are now going to be replaced with four life and no amazing weapon. We're going to pick up the freaking hedge at this time. We're not going to ruin that. There we go. And going through. Now, we need an angry shopkeeper. Uh, it's potentially we can get one, which is great. Any more alien weaponry lying around? We do have a crate down there. You never know. That guy's just got frozen tootsies. You, yeah, come on then, pop your head up. And you, why not? Alright, let's make our way down. Very gently. And in here we have... More bombs. Not gonna say no. Oh, I don't have uh, spike shoes, don't I? I can't kill these in one shot. Trying to get a bit of extra blood out of them, but yeah, it's not the best idea, is it? Because I could very easily die. That. 
money. Why am I collecting money? There's the dog. That's what we want. Now we just need to find the exit who is there, as is Shopkeepy. He's killed himself. Didn't get the gun, but on the bright side, we're going to the temple now. He can run away and kill himself. But we do have to fight a newbie without a weapon. How many bombs do we have? I think we can have a few, don't we? I've got a freaking brick over there. Right, we've got 36. No, it's gonna get me. I'm still not gonna get it. There we go, that got him. Is that a shop down there as well? It's got a teleporter. Lots of bombs in the shop. Got to avoid that green glove, but if we're lucky, we can get the. Uh, if we're lucky, we can get the shotgun off of him. Nope. That's what I wanted. Right, where is he and what is he doing? Right, he's lost his gun already. And we get that. There we go. Where is Anubis hiding? That, I'm not too sure on. There's the original shopkeep. No! Ah! I didn't see you hiding behind there. Oh. Is that, is that shopkeep dead? No, nope, not yet. What was in that crate? Was there a crate? I thought there was. Anubis, where are you? Think we go on a journey to track you down. I swear, I better not have been cheated. If we don't find Anubis, we are screwed. Without Anubis, we can't get to where we need to be. Okay, let's think about this a bit smarter. Let's go back up. Where haven't we been? Behind the shop. I didn't see him down there. We'll bomb in. Oh, Anubis is already dead. <laughs> don't ask me how it happened because I don't know, but he has died. He has left his weapon up here. It looks like he spawned in an awkward position and got trapped and constantly annihilated. Okay, that's good. Right, so we've got his weapon, we can now escape out of here. Radish shopkeep doesn't interrupt us. Excelente, fantastico, good. Oh man, we're a bit nervous now, aren't we? You hear prayers to Carly. Is that good or bad? Get away from me. Take that. Oh, I was so worried that was going to come back and get me. Oh. Right, let's... Right, before we unlock that, actually, can we find a shopkeeper to kill? If we can kill a shopkeeper and get his weapon... Oh, he's already dead. Great, right. Let's unlock this. The dog, I'll stick him straight into the door then I'm gonna go get that shotgun and that should really just sort of improve my life uh, yeah. that brick comes and gets me I'm freaking, freaking. where'd that go huh. there we go all right I think we can nope there we are I know I'm going for my bombs but I'd rather have no bombs and get rid of that. Look at all those red jewels in there. Right, to the Golden City. Let us move onwards. When it says you hear prayers to Kali, I don't know what that means. I don't think I've had that mentioned before. Maybe if I sacrifice something, I would have gotten bonuses. Get rid of that giant mummy straight away. I've got a death brick down there. <laughs> Let's try and grab these two golden, beautiful things. Why not? 
That looks ridiculously stupid. This guy can look. Mm, there. I know I'm taking the most roundabout way to do this, but. Better safe than sorry. Right. This will get us into there. With Anubis 2. This guy's going to continue to vomit stuff everywhere. So let's blast our way out of this end. Oh crap, I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready, I was not ready. Come down here, come on. Look at all these! Look at them all! Oh, we have another dog there, if we get him, that would get us up to a very nice... 8 health. All that because I just want to get down here, get whatever is in this crate and also the dog. Bombs. Alright, do we know where the exit is yet? Well, I do have a compass, that would have helped. Oh! Oh no, 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 no! Okay. That's good. Can't really do too much from there. That didn't work. That should work better though. We'll avoid getting shot by going down there. We should go down here instead. Grab the shotty and leave. Oh, we're doing fantastic. In fact, I should have killed that guy underneath. I got a bit of extra health out of him. So we're at 8 health. Going on for 9. We're at Olmec. Oh, jeez, is this going to be the one? Is this going to be the one? Right, let's shoot. That way. Let's see what we've got lying around up here. Any more of that alien weaponry? You know, that would come in handy. Why not grab these jewels, get as much cash as we can since we're here? You know, why not? We're either going to win or we are not, and if whatever happens, we can do it with lots of cash. Oh. Really not that many crates here, is there? Right, so where about... It's in this direction, according to the giant grimacing head. It's going to be slightly trickier because we have a... What was that? What was that? What was that? I don't know what those noises were, but... They were started being made. There's a freaking bat over there. I'm going to hope that took it. I'm going to lure him all the way over here so I can fly over there and do this in peace. There we go. Right, there's the door. I see it's here-ish. Now here's the thing. I'm kind of cheating in doing this because I think the way you're supposed to get him to come down is to do the whole Super Mario Brothers 3 Bowser style of you know, having him smash through the floor. I just don't have time for that. Well, the patience for that, to be honest. Nor do I have the courage to do that. Is that big enough for him to fall down? Maybe not. Get rid of this one. Right. I'm going to try what I did last time and stand on his head because it seemed to work. I'm just assuming that it glitched. And if, but if it doesn't work this time, then... You know what? Feel free to leave me a comment on how I should do it. Let's go! Oh, we did it! We did it! We're through! We actually did it. Holy hell's bells. Look at this. This place looks deadly. Whew. Right, okay. Are we going to die straight away? Journal entry added. Hell. The underworld. Sheol. Here it is. One thing's for certain. It's hot down here. That's a brick there. I didn't even see it. Does it hurt me to stand on hot bricks? No. Okay. 
There's a vampire there. There's a lot of lab. Holy crap! There's like a devil's face and a golden... Yeah, just not going to go that way. I think we hit the vampire, we did. Can we get him to come jump in the, van in the lava? Oh, I'm loving the music. Got his cape, but we don't want a cape. We have a thingamajigger. The face is going crazy. Huh. There's another cape over there. I guess someone died. What is that blue thing down there? Got some zombies. Is that going to hit me? That is going to hit me. Right, we're over. We're across. Ooh, that... Right. There's a dog there. Sacrificial altar, but we're not going to mess with that. We don't need it. Ah! Whoa, what the crap? Oh. oh, I don't know what that was, but it scared me. Can we not rescue any dogs on this level? Because that was... Shh, bob, bob. What's in this tower? Oh, there's something diamond up there. I want it. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I don't even know what that thing is, I just want it because it's shiny and golden. Got him. Oh, ah! It's freaking Dracula! He had wings! Vlad, the Dark Prince of Vampires. His tower stands guard at the entrance of hell. What are these wings? I don't want that one. No, 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 no! Oh crap. Okay, I've fallen. But we shouldn't panic. Just because I don't have my jetpack anymore. Oh. Alright, let's try this again. I just want to grab those wings so they can get added to my journal entry. Ah, oh, I didn't know I could do it. There we go. The bloody cape of Vlad, the Impaler. It's even more dashing than regular capes. It's just a... a oh, okay, I can double jump. And the ghost is on his way. Fantastic. Alright, I'd rather have my jetpack, to be honest. Crap. Crap. No, no, I want my jetpack. And I still don't know what that thing is. Crap, 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 crap. Crap. Give me my jetpack. I'm going to leave my jetpack, unfortunately. Crap. I want to know what that thing is as well. Vlad's amulet, a magical amulet that protects its owner from fire. Cool. Crap. 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 All I want to do is get my jetpack. Right, protection from fire. That sounds awesome. Is it though? How, how can I... Maybe I put that there. I've left my shotgun there as well that I can't grab. Right, that should have chained up the items somewhat. <laughs> yes. This. And this. No. This. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, best way to do this. Let's lure this guy all the way up. I'm so nervous right now. If we get him all the way up, we can proceed all the way down. Hope the protection from fire is really going to start working. Those bricks with skulls on them. I'm assuming they're going to be like the bricks from... Ah! The golden temple and the te regular temple and whatnot. I'm going through so many bombs. Spider. Okay, right. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Protection from fire. Will it protect me from fiery monsters? Oh, those magma men. I'm so freaking nervous right now. This is crazy. Oh, deep breath. <sighs> okay, next level. More amazing music. A lot deadlier looking. I'm worried about that vampire up there. That should take care of that guy. So many new items that I just feel like 
I should pick up to know that. I don't know what that thing is. I want to shoot in the head though. Look at that. Channel entry added. Imp, lowly servant of the underworld. Its job is to refill the lava pits. Well, not anymore, scumbag. There's loads of blue guys dead on, dead on spikes. I wonder what they were. Jump, zombie. Jump! There we go. Right, we know the exit is down there. There's the dog. Should we take that dog? Last time it turned to a monster and tried to kill me. Why am I going that way? No, let's just leave. Let's go down. Right, there's a couple of crates down there. I'll grab those. I see two dogs. Uh, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Right, let's put you in the end. And then we'll come back and grab that other dog. Or is the other dog going to be a trick? We'll approach with our gun out. Oh, it was a trick! Ah! No, get off me! Get off me! Uh, uh, wake up! Wake up, please! Okay. To that. I didn't bother. Succubus, a mistress of Vlad. She seduces men and women alike in the service of her master. Okay. Safe to leave now, I think. We've got the dog. Let's just go. Why hang around here? Why take the chances? So our health should be okay somewhat, actually. Six health. Look at that. Right, I still got this amulet. That oh, one of these things that I can finally kill. Oh, it spiked me in the butt. Devil. Blue devils that escort lost souls to King Gamma's courtroom. King Gamma was from Dragon Ball Z. He guarded the life and death area. The station, I can't remember what it's called. I'm under pressure, gosh darn it. I'm in hell for Pete's sake. Right, so we can attack those from above because they will... Oh, crap. Okay, let's go. We can't attack the blue devils from above because they spike us in the butthole. That is not good. Next area of hell. Oh. King Yama? It looks like he. Oh. Get away from me. Ah, ah, oh, crap. Okay, what was that? Horse head. King Yama's right hand man. He has the head of a horse. Not anymore, I just shot it right off. There's a big thing over here as well. Ox face. King Yama's left hand man. He has the face of an ox. Oh, not anymore, he doesn't. Uh, get away, vampire. I've right, got another vampire up here. I'm just worried about getting knocked into like a lava pit or spikes or something. Well, lava, I think it shouldn't hurt me because I've got that fiery amulet. Uh, uh, no, 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 I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I have free health. Any more vampires hanging around? We've got a zombie over there. Oh, crap! What was that? I'm down to one health. Oh, oh, uh. To that. And that. A few bombs in your face. Oh, crap! I'm alive! I'm still alive. It's okay. I thought I'd been killed, but... No, no, I'm dead! No! I didn't see all those spicy key traps! My soul was judged unworthy by the king of the underworld. <sighs> Tune in tomorrow, or I probably won't get this far. <sighs> My heart. Goodbye!